Hi, it is Marie. I am back again today with another video. Um, and today I wanted to talk about self-confidence. I realize it's kind of a fluffy topic, uh, so bear with me. Uh, but honestly, where I'm at today is that I don't think self-confidence is that big of an issue for me. I mean, sure, I still have those moments where I feel self-conscious, um, especially when I'm performing or engaged in an activity that requires my fine motor skills uh, and I'm not really getting the desired outcome um, and I just feel like I'm, I'm putting this effort in for no reason um, I guess and I don't know if any of you have ever felt this way um, so comment down below if you have but it's kind of like you're you're trying to get somewhere in a frictionless state and no matter how hard you try you're you're not moving forward you're not progressing uh, so that's where I, I kind of struggle um, with feeling like an adult um, and when I, I, I can't do simple tasks. Um, and so, but when I compare that to how it was growing up, uh, I think that's, that's really nothing um, because I really was lacking in self-confidence growing up. I didn't feel independent at all. I didn't go anywhere without anyone. Um, I wasn't comfortable doing activities on my own uh, without someone watching over me under the fear of messing up. Um, I did. I really didn't have any interests. You know, I did whatever my sisters did. Um, but that all changed in about seventh grade. I was in a crowd of people and um, I was trying to get through. I was very passive, you know, trying to say, excuse me, people just not hearing me. And um, this woman came up behind me and she's like, no, you just have to barge through. Just keep going, just push right on through them. And uh, so I kind of took that suggestion to heart in my life. and. And it was like, hey, I, I honestly don't care what you think. I'm going to do what I want to do, even if I mess up. Again, I'm still kind of self-conscious about how, how I mess up. But I think that you, ha you have to believe in yourself before anyone can believe in you. Um, and so that's how I joined the speech team. That's how I joined the debate team. And it was like... I can put this effort into something and I can find success um, because it doesn't involve my fine motor skills. Um, and so that kind of built my confidence up and I could say, oh, here's an outcome. I finally reached an outcome um, where I'm successful. Um, so even though, yes, my fine motor skills do frustrate me, I guess my lack of fine motor skills do frustrate me. I've I've been able to find success in life um, through something else, and I think um, that more than makes up for the lack of my fine motor skills and the lack of self confidence from those fine motor skills. But I think my biggest takeaway from all of this is that you do have to assert your, assert yourself, and you do have to believe in yourself because especially um, with my experience with cerebral palsy, I think a lot of people won't believe in you, but you you have to prove yourself and you have to believe in yourself first. And I think that's the first step of proving yourself is believing you can do something even though you might doubt yourself. You just put that confidence right on through. Um, and so that's all I have for today. I will see you in the next video. Feel free to comment down below if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, if you have any questions. Um, but anyways, so I will see you in the next video.